Fullness, post on tale told. I have been seeing a nutritionist these last few months and found it surprising that instead of cutting from my diet, she adds to it. In a sense, I wasn't eating anything wrong. Already I had cut out most of the things people say are unhealthy in an attempt to feel better. The problem was that my meals were not balanced. I basically ate bread and meat. Apparently vegetables are a cornerstone to a healthy diet. It is remarkable that this principle holds in another personal matter. As college got harder and harder this year, I cut out many parts of my life till almost all of my time was spent either working at college or searching for recreation. As a result, the college only got harder and the recreation never restored. Then I made the decision that I had to get out, had to escape this cycle. I restarted jiu-jitsu. My instincts had been to cut things like jiu-jitsu to reduce my stress. The truth was the opposite. Jiu-jitsu helped to balance me. By adding new and healthy stresses into my life, the stress of college diminished. Now on top of it all, I am blogging. Somehow, by pushing myself in these multiple directions, I am going further in each category than I would ever have gone had I only focused on one. Now, if the physical speaks to the spiritual, there should be a lesson here. God doesn't diminish us. Sure, there are things you shouldn't do. Don't party all night every night. Don't drink soda every day. Don't murder anyone. Some things are discernible by common knowledge, a natural law. But Christ came that we might have fullness of life. Christianity doesn't detract from life. Christ is life, and he wants us to drink from him deeply. At communion, we remember the breaking of Jesus for our benefit. Christ gives himself abundantly to us that we might have an abundant life.